the Kershaw Lucha is known to be an unbelievably heavy battle song relative to the rest of flipping. It is almost six ounces. This is the stock Lucha. I like this stone washed blade. I like these stone washed handles. It is incredibly handle bias, like so handle bias. And I made it heavier. <laughs> now you might be asking, why the fuck would you do that? It's already so heavy. There are so many handles uh, that people have made. Flytanium has aluminum channel handles and titanium sandwich handles for the, the Kershaw Lucha blade. And Zippy has Zippy handles uh, for the Zalucha, which I hear is actually quite good. Uh, some people say it's the best version. And that's like really light. I wanna, I'm want i guessing it's under four ounces. And for a steel blade with plastic handles, uh, you'd be surprised how good it is from what I heard. I've never tried them because I only use the stock Lucha. My friend was like, you gotta buy the Zippy. You gotta buy the Zippy handles. And I'm like, mm, it's like 70 bucks. It's, it's worth it from what I hear if you want it. Now, as you can see, this can fan like if you're doing like a, this kind of fan it's not too bad if you're doing this kind of fan uh, you'd be surprised I'm, I'm actually doing much better than i am on like my, my my yoda my, my boker yoda um so i wanted to make this heavier i'm like let's see if i can push this to six ounces which i still don't know if i do because i don't have a scale actually if i reach a certain goal on my coffee page i will buy a fucking scale and i can weigh things right here Instead of just guessing. Anyways, so this I bought the zippy. Uh, while I don't have the zippy handles, I have the zippy blade inserts, the tang inserts. I got them in red, and I have these spacers, which are fitting on both the stock handles and the titanium re handle. I don't. I think they fit on the zippy handles, but I'm not sure. I mean, they're their own, they're their own thing. So why, why make it heavier? And uh, the short answer is because I wanted to, because <laughs> fuck it, why not? Uh, I mean, I guess the why not is because spacers cost money. Um, and the long answer is I like unique flipping experiences. The Lucha, is just an excellent EDC knife. This is a great knife. It is an okay ballast song. It is not the best ballast song. Some people say it's it's bad, but it's really, really solid. I mean, it's steel on steel, which means that the handles are gonna be way heavier than the blade. This is the same for the Bermuda, where uh, without these inserts and without these zippy spacers, uh, the steel liners are heavier than these blades. Um, so that said though despite this being very handle buys it's actually still fun it's dangerous <laughs> i had to i dulled the blade a little bit but i i use this is the knife i normally go to when i open things and i also use this to shuck oysters i don't have an oyster shucking knife and i i, I went to the farmer's market and i was like oh there's a pretty good deal on oysters well, let me get some fresh fucking oysters and I'm just gonna eat them myself. And I don't have an oyster shucking knife. So what did I do? I looked up a video and it's like, yeah, you, you wanna be careful. You wrap the oyster in a towel and you wanna make sure you don't stab your hand. But this knife is so solid. While it is a battle song and you are, uh, you know, that kind of motion, uh, it still has, it still holds up. This is on bearings too. So I don't have to worry about like damaging things. It's like, I was a little worried, but I mean, this is, this is steel on steel with ball bearings. So everything actually worked out pretty well. I was a little worried because, you know, I had to wrench the knife upward. Uh, the Kershaw Leech, though, is a very, 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 very solid knife. So I went through a dozen oysters and amateur shucking, and this worked out really well. Um, I should talk more about the knife as it's flipping, though. Um, these spacers are great. They're very nice because the stock, the stock, there is no real stock spacers. It's just kind of like these like barrels in here. These spacers give it, extends this, and uh, it's a little, it's a little rough with the print, but then you just sand it down a little bit. 
uh, and it's much, much more comfortable. I have also colored my spacers. I have blue for safe and red for bite. Uh, and I like that because when I use this knife, which is more often than not actually, you'd be surprised how much I use this knife, uh, I want to make sure that I don't flip the bite side out. Um, and so I don't really do this for tricks. Like I, I, I'm terrified to do rollovers. Um, and I don't really do the extended full twirl just because it's, oh my God, it's a hefty knife. And chaplains are, oh no, I'm scared. I have a trombone here. That's a, That's not a cheap instrument. Oh, I'm kind of doing it. Um, but you would be surprised at how well this still fans, despite it being bearings, despite it being extremely handle bias, despite it being almost six ounces, still fans pretty well. And that's making this heavy. Yeah, there are all the weights in here. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to do all the weights. I could have done no weights and just have it be like more comfortable. But I'm like, let's meme. Let's make this knife heavier. And it's still, it's still pretty good. Um, I'm going to count. Uh, I chalk that up partially to the fact that it's bearings, which makes it just feel still very fluid. Uh, and I don't really worry about it binding or anything like that. Um, and I don't know. It's just a really good EDC knife. It's heavy though. Um, if you want a solid knife and using it for heavy duty shit, like breaking oysters in half, this is a really good knife. Uh, I have the Boker Yoda for a small, very portable knife that you could use for camping or whatever the fuck. And the Excel is good for multi purposes because you can hot swap blades. Um, but the Lucha, I think it deserves some respect. I understand that people have a lot of thoughts about it. It's poor flipping and why they constantly make rehandles. I also just, at some point, I'm like, what's the point of just making new handles for this blade opposed to just, I don't know, any other blade or any other thing? Uh, especially because it's on bearings and not everyone likes bearings, but I think this, I like the stock version. <laughs> I like the stock version. I'm sure I'll love the, the zippy version, but this is such a, I think it looks pretty good. I think maybe I could have gotten black and that would have looked maybe a better fit. Um, black's not translucent though. So anyways, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, um, check out my coffee. It's in the description. A little bit goes a long way, like three bucks. It's not even a subscription. You just one time donation. I, I get to buy more of these mods and I get to do other things like pay for shipping because that is an overhead cost. So anyways, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this knife, because I actually quite like this knife. And I hope you take care. Stay hydrated. It's summer, so have a good flip.